You're probably familiar with the Squire Classic Vibe range of guitars. They're great value for the money, great budget guitars. They have a lot to offer. But the thing is, they do get boring sometimes. Take a look at dealers like Thoman, which is the biggest dealer in Europe. They only have the regular colors, the old colors, and they don't even do any special runs or anything like that. And on the other hand, you have Andertons and Chicago Music Exchange that they do special runs of these guitars, different kind of colors, different configurations, thin line telecasters and all that. Since I'm in Austria and Thoman is the biggest dealer here, I took matters into my own hands and I think I created a really special classic vibe telecaster. So just take a look at this. So before we dive deep into it, I want you to listen to the guitar first. And I also want to take the moment and thank Adam from Tone Hatch Pickups for providing me with these pickups. This P90 is probably the best P90 pickup I've ever played in my life. It's really special. So we're going to talk more about the guitar and the pickups later, but let's first hear it in this first loop. See ya. So I hope you enjoyed it. There's going to be more playing coming along, but first I want to talk about the signal chain that you're hearing and I'm also going to talk about the guitar and the pickups and how it got to be. So uh, first of all, I'm plugged into the, to the Line 6 HX Stomp XL, nothing new there. It's my favorite piece of gear ever. Uh, from that, I'm plugged into the Blue Guitar Amp 1 Mercury Edition and it's just a beautiful amp. They send it to me. The channel, the clean channel is just fantastic. It's really really good and I'm plugging it into another piece of gear that I just got which is the two notes Captor X and that thing now I know why a lot of people like it because it's a lifesaver so this tone right here this recording setup right here is the best tone that I've ever gotten and it's the most fun that I've ever had so check out the blue guitar amp one if you're looking for something Marshall-y there's a lot of Marshall going on there but the clean channel is a game changer. It, it works like a pedal platform. It, it's really dynamic and it has a good body to it, which I really like from my style of playing. All right, so how did this guitar happen? Well, there's a lot of factors that played a role into why I decided to do this to this guitar. First one being Julian Lodge. I'm a huge fan of that guy. He's an amazing player. And if I only had like 1% of his talent, I would probably be the happiest man alive, but as you can probably tell, that's not the case and it's probably never gonna be, but that's besides the point. So there's this video of him playing a gold top Telecaster with a P90 on the neck. And I think that sounded just amazing. Sound is so sweet and his playing on it is just incredible. So, and I also fell in love with the look of it because I mean, it just looks so classy. And I had that in mind, but then also something else happened which was me going to 42 Gear Street. And I call that my biggest blessing in my music or YouTube career because it was just an, an amazing adventure. And it was also a curse as well because I got to play a lot of cool guitars, a lot of boutique guitars, just amazing instruments, starting from my Bach guitars, which is my favorite brand at the moment, uh, Nick Hubert's, 
PJD guitars. It was just amazing. And the fact that I went there and played all of these guitars, it just created a, a sound in my head that I wanted to get out of the guitar. There was this PJD actually. It was a, a, a standard carry, a black one with the roasted maple neck. And that thing had a P90 in the, in the neck position and a humbucker in the bridge. And it also had the fender scale length. And it was just like the best sound I ever got from at 42 Gear Street. It was just so dynamic, so pleasing to the ear, and it felt good under the fingers. And there was also this other PJD that had two humbuckers, but the humbucker was a low wound humbucker. And it just, those guitars, especially the one with the P90, uh, they, they just gave me this idea of, of the sound in my head and I really wanted to get to it. So when I got back home from 42 Gear Street, I was constantly thinking about that particular tone, that, and that particular guitar with the P90 pickup. I mean, it sounded awesome and felt great. And the guitar was beautiful as well. So a couple of weeks passed by and I really wanted to do something about it because I just had that tone in my head and I had that feeling under the fingers that I just really wanted it. So I just thought, wait a second, I have a Telecaster that I rarely play. And at that time, this guitar had Lawler pickups, the ones that Rax FX, one of my subscribers, gifted to me, which were great, but they, were, they weren't the right pickups for this guitar. I would say those pickups would fit like a, a Rosewood Telecaster better. That's just my opinion. I, it felt great, but then I, I really had wanted something else out of this guitar. So I removed those pickups, they're back there. I installed the stock pickups again. And to my surprise, I liked the neck stock pickup way better than the, the, the Lawler, which is crazy because the Lawler pickups are really expensive. So I was talking to my friend Lee Fuge that I met at 42 Gear Street, and I was telling him, I love this Telecaster, it's really good, but I just need something else. I need some different kind of pickups in there because I, I, wanted, I want to create a different vibe with this guitar. And he was like, well, let me introduce you to someone that I know that makes great pickups. And I was like, please do so. So uh, he sent me an email a couple of minutes after CCing me on an email with Adam from Tone Hatch Pickups. Now, Adam makes amazing hand-wound pickups in Nebraska, and he charges like 100 euros or 100 bucks for a set of Strat or Telecaster pickups, which is unbelievable because, as I said, this neck P90 is the best P90 I've ever played. It's just incredible what he did with it. Uh, he said that um, the magnet is an uh, Alnico 2 and also it's it's underwound a little bit, the P90. And the bridge is also Alnico 2 for fatter sound. And I've ha I have it cranked up uh, so that it matches because the P90 has a lot, so a lot of output to it. But he just asked me a couple of questions. I got in touch with him, great guy. And he was like, so what, what don't you like? Because he knew that I had uh, a set of Lawler pickups and he was like what don't you like about that set and I told him and I also sent him the Julian Lodge video as a reference a month passes by or something like that I get the pickups and I'm really thankful because he doesn't even sell the P90s and I think he should so Adam if you're watching this video you should definitely sell these because this this is gonna be something big it's a really really nice pickup so he didn't he doesn't even make P90s but he wound this for me and he also custom wound this one to match the, the P90, which is just amazing. And I can't thank him enough because this just completely transformed this guitar to, into something that I would play on a daily basis because it's just amazing. I mean, there's no words that I, I can say to describe how awesome this guitar is now with these pickups. So thank you so much, Adam. And thank you, Lee, for introducing me to Adam. Now the trickiest part of this entire process was installing the pickups. And not that it's hard to install a P90 or something, but I couldn't find a pick guard. I searched the internet for weeks and I couldn't find a black pick guard with five holes to save my life. There were some websites that had these pick guards, but then when you went to check out, it cost like 200 euros, which uh, it's not ideal because the guitar costs like 350 or something. I decided to get myself a Dremel, like a cheap Dremel, like one of the off-brands Dremels, and try to cut the pick guard myself. So I started the process. I put up, put up the camera, put up the lights, said I'm gonna record this. It's gonna be a cool DIY project, but uh, I hope I deleted it. I, I formatted the memory card for my camera 
And I hope no one else gets to see that ever again, that footage, because it's just me constantly failing to cut a simple hole in a piece of plastic. But in the end, I kind of got it. So it looks like this. You can see that it it's just a bit bigger than it should be. But I mean, it gives you that vibe that someone from the 50s did it without any proper tools which still like benefits you if you're thinking about the 50s but it was it was really funny to see how uh incompetent i was with that tool but in the end of the day i got it and it works i mean it looks presentable i don't know i like it so let's move on so there's something else that i did that made a huge difference to this guitar but first let's hear another clip of me playing and then we're gonna come back talk about that part and we're gonna go through the pickups uh, for a quick second and we're gonna end the video. So uh, let's hear it. Now the other thing that I did is I wanted this guitar to be perfect. So what I did is I upgraded the bridge and the saddles to a Goto made in Japan in tune bridge, which means it has the compensated saddle. And when I first got it, I thought nah, it's probably gonna work, but not perfectly in tune. But to my surprise, it actually intonates perfectly. I mean, you just move one saddle and that's it. You intonate the E string, the B is intonated for sure, which is really interesting because there, it's a struggle to intonate a Telecaster, but that's the fun of it, you know. But anyways, it, it also looks really cool. It has the brass saddles. And again, you can't beat the look of a three saddle guitar, but you also benefit from intonating the guitar perfectly with this. So that's a big thumbs up. If you're, look, if you're looking for something for your Telecaster, I definitely suggest this because it, it only costs like 50 euros, which is awesome and yeah that's the go to rich i thought about changing the tuners as well but there's no need because they work perfectly so why change something that it's not broken so let's hear the guitar in all three positions uh you know the signal chain uh let's just hear it a little bit and then we're gonna end the video so here we go all right so let's hear the guitar this is the neck pickup <laughs> Middle position. And last but not least, bridge position. And there's a really good balance between the P90 and uh, the bridge pickup. So take a load of this.
It also makes for a really good uh, middle position. Now let's add some gain and see how that sounds. And the middle. So it turns out to be a really versatile guitar and I love it. The way it looks, the way it feels, the way it plays, the way it sounds. I mean, these pickups are just legendary. And Fender, if you're hearing this, if you're watching this video, give this a shot. You should consider this because it's awesome. It's a really cool combination. It's a really cool guitar. And yeah, I mean, there's nothing much I can say about it because it's just perfect for me. Um, only thing that I would do is I wouldn't have probably have to work on the fret fret work just to have it perfect because the bridge is perfect the pickups are perfect the tuners work awesome uh there's a couple of high frets uh on the higher register right here that can be sorted quite easily i would say but and it plays really good as it is but um if i have the chance i'll probably send it to a luthier or something and work on the on the higher frets and other than that i wish it had a slightly bigger neck but that's okay I, I i don't have an issue adopting to bigger or smaller necks all right so that's gonna be it for today's video i hope you enjoyed it i hope you like the tones i hope you like the guitar and if you have any questions leave them under the comment section down below please go check out uh tone hatch pickups he has amazing pickups for really cheap and really awesome quality i mean as i said if i had these pickups in every guitar I would, I would be happy as hell. It was just amazing what he did with this. Uh, so go check him out. If you want to check out his uh, regular Telecaster and Stratocaster pickups, go to Lee Fuse's channel. He has a couple of videos on them. Awesome videos. You should definitely check them out. I'll link everything down below. And please do all the YouTube things. Uh, like, comment, and most importantly, subscribe. Because that really helps me with this journey. And yeah, that's going to be it. Thank you so much for staying with me and have a good one. Stay safe. Bye-bye.